our son is gone. And I was like, like, what do you mean our son is gone? And he's just like, somebody killed him. And, and that was it. Like, I just, I lost it. I the tears of a mother explained the moment she knew her son had died. Kissy Martinez is the mother of the late Dominic Holding, who was just 20 years old when he was presumably shot, killed back in June. Dominic was living with his mother in Oceanside when he asked her if he could borrow her car to visit his father, who lived in San Fernando Valley. But he never made it to his dad's home and ended up here at 4200 block of Lowell Avenue in El Sereno. I'm here at the scene of the crime where Dominic Holden was found dead on July 23rd around 7 p.m. according to the police report and yet it has been several months and there are still no witnesses or leads on what happened at that night. The police report also mentioned that Holden was found on the passenger seat of his mother's black Toyota Camry, but still many question marks rise as it's still unclear what was Dominic doing at that location. I don't know what the hell my kid was doing there. Y yo no me puedo lavar las manos porque yo no tengo ni idea de lo que estaba haciendo allá. Of course. Pero, you know, I, it was just, I, I don't know. If, I don't know. I mean, they didn't find any weapons inside of the car. Casey said that Dominic led with almost $4,000 in cash that he saved up as a deposit for an apartment for himself and his girlfriend. According to Casey, only around $2,000 were found, which made her believe that his son was possibly robbed. I was thinking he got robbed because, okay, so my mom had given him $2,000 in cash and I had given him like $1,600 for the uh, deposit. And I don't know how much was found. I think it was only like $2,000 found in the car. At the end of the day, life is just one big guess and we're all guessing. Holden was passionate about photography and loved working out. He was very proud with his personal life, but his mom lovingly remembers his unique personality. He's very serious about life, like very, very serious. He um, he had a very strong temper, um, but he was kind. He was, he was very outgoing too, um, but he's very serious. Like he, he took things very personal constantly. Now, Ms. Martinez says she isn't giving up on finding her son's killer. I hope that they find who did this and maybe, you know, just putting it out there is the only way people are going to, you know, somebody knows something. For that reason, this desperate mother is pleading for information about that crime from anyone who might have seen any of the details of what happened. If you know anything or may have seen something, the Hollenbeck Police Department can be contacted on the number under your screen.